All right, so one of the things that I want to really be able to do is show uh, people that are wanting to uh, build a barn dominium um, the better ways to do it. Don't just go out and say you're going to do it and then <clears throat> fail at it. I don't, I don't want that. So one of the things that I want to do today is talk about when we went to go buy land, uh, which we are currently under contract and we'll close um, October the 13th on this land. Um, we looked at a couple different pieces and, um, we found that this one is probably, uh, the better for a barn dominion because of the se the section that we can build on, it is flat. Um, so I will go through and show you a couple of those things that we, uh, made sure that the property had or had access to, um, that you want to make sure that you're asking your realtor if you don't already have land, um, make sure that it has, um, access to um, electricity, like um, uh, an easy easy place to be able to, to run uh, your power to your house. Um, if it has perked, and if it hasn't perked before you uh, buy the land, you need to try to make that contingent on the land perking, uh, making sure that <clears throat> if you don't have some, any kind of like town sewer or anything like that, that you can easily get a conventional septic field um, installed on your property. And the third thing is make sure that it's pretty flat, specifically for a barn dominium. Um, you don't want to be bringing a lot of fill dirt. Um, you don't want to have to do a lot of dirt work that costs a lot of money for excavation. And so when we were, before we even went and looked at land in person, um, I used uh, the GS for the county. Uh, so that is particular in Bedford County. And so um, let me show you what that looks like. So went to Google and uh, went to Google. And if you uh, just go type in now, this is in particular for this county that we're buying in. Um, some counties don't offer this um, um, in the GIS um, that they have for the county, but this one in, in, in particular does. So, so this is in Bedford County, and this is their GIS. So if you look at the map, this is the map of Bedford County. I'm gonna zoom in on where this piece of property is. It's on Screechum Hollow Road. Uh, so it is this block of five acres right here. So when looking at this five acres, you can't really tell if it's flat or if it's not. Um, I'm going to change this to an aerial view so you can see now. You can see that there's some trees and there's uh, some uh, field here in between. This actually is a cow pasture um, that uh, they just subdivided. So um, this is about where uh, the... Um, land was parked at and so we know we cannot build right there because that's where the drain field is going to go at. Uh, there is a um, electric line that runs across the field right here so we know you cannot build underneath an electric line. Um, in the um, dirt work that they gave us um, they said that the well could go up here and that the land, the house was going to go somewhere in here. And that's not exactly where I want it to be at. So we're going to actually get that moved to probably back here somewhere. But how I found that is in this over here on the side where there's different layers, there's a contour. And you can check the contour of 20 feet, how much fall there is in 20 feet. So you see from here to the back, there's, you know, between here, there's 20, 40 feet of fall from pretty much the front to the very back. And so we want to change that from contours of 20 to contours of four. And then you can see right here, it's a pretty flat spot depending on how much you want to look at. So if you go up here to tools, you can measure distance and then you can measure. Okay. So the house that we're going to do is uh, a 32 by 64 with an eight foot four, uh, eight foot porch on the front and a 12 foot porch on the back uh, so you know that this direction so I'm about 69 feet so I know I've got about four ish feet of fall this direction and about four ish feet of fall of this direction 
and four feet of fall in that direction. So in all, I could go in and, and level this out pretty effectively. Now this is towards the mountains. This is, um, uh, we're not far from the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia at this piece of property. Um, and so we looked at this and there's also another piece, actually two more pieces um, that we looked at and I'll show you how um, that was not gonna work for us. Um, so there is, let's see, it's right, right here. So these pieces right here had absolutely gorgeous views of the mountains. Um, but when we went to go look at it, <clears throat> this lot right here was already sold. As you can see, it is very flat right here in the front. Um, this one was already sold also, and that was very flat in the front. This one, we probably could have done something with, but this one was blocked by some trees. Um, you could not see the mountains in this direction in this direction because of the trees that were right here. And so you could build a house right here and it was only 1.4, 1.5 acres. Um, if you went to go build over here, same, there was somewhat of a flat in the front, but uh, we didn't want to be this close to the front of the, the highway uh, here either. Um, and then this one um, perked back here in the back, so you'd have to come way back here. And if you measure in between these, um, you remember like uh, they were, the other one was, you know, between 60 and 80 feet uh, fall. This one you're only looking at 30 feet. So by the time you did your 68, you're at, uh, let's see, 4, 8, 12 feet of fall. Um, and so that's a lot of grading, a lot of excavating um, to be able to get uh, where you need it on that. Um, and then we looked at another piece uh, of property that was 2.2 acres. Um, that we had decided we were going to go for, um, but it was, it's, it's this section right here that was actually all subdivided, and um, we ultimately ended up deciding not to. Now, the reason why uh, we did like this piece, it did need some more excavation here, but it had great views of the mountains. Um, it also had town water right here, and so this GIS will show you, uh, let's see, uh, Blue Ridge Water Authority service area. If it'll give you a shading, okay. Well, that it serviced um, this area right here uh, with town water. This area over here, it did not service town water. And then when we found this property up here, it also does not get serviced by town water. So those were some things that I looked into because I knew that you know a well is going to be between nine and fourteen thousand dollars. Um, in this part of Virginia um, and I figured if they already had town water I didn't have to do a well um, so we decided ultimately we decided against this one um, we really wanted a little bit more land so this was two acres the other piece that we ended up buying was five acres um, but the same thing right here you can see <clears throat> there's the slope going away from the road coming down this is the bottom right here um, the property line where it's subdivided is actually about right here. It just hasn't shown up on GIS yet. And so if you want to measure in between, these weren't too bad. Oops. In between these lines, all right, you're about 40 feet. So we, I figured we'd have to come back. So it's about 75 feet and you had about six foot of fall in 75 feet uh, looking at the, the way it was. So we knew that we would have to do some excavation cut down here and um, pull that, that fill dirt back uh, in order to, because whenever you build a barn dominium and spe specifically, you want those piers to be able to go down to virgin soil that has never been uh, messed with before and it's not loose, so you have less problems with uh, concrete cracking or anything like that. So, um, so this is one of the biggest things that we decided uh, to go uh, look at this other five acres which ended up being, it will end up being more money. Um, and we are building this this in particular on a budget and it, with cash, um, we do not want to be able to have to borrow um, anything on this on this house, on this construction. So 
Um, we have taken every consideration, and that would be one of those that we needed to make sure that I didn't have to spend a lot of, a lot of money on electricity uh, being ran to the house um, or uh, perking um, the system or um, having to run a well. So those are some of the things that we did end up deciding just to go ahead and get something with a little bit more acreage. Um, so there will be some more videos coming out. Probably we close on it, like I said, this coming Friday. Um, and we hope to be out there, probably bring the camper there this weekend um, and do maybe some camping and some cleanup videos um, and really start to make this into um, a piece of property that we will end up living at hopefully within the next six months or so. So um, that's pretty much it. Thanks.